six bolts, Ed. Six. Oh, that, I thought it said sex bolts. I was wondering what you were going to talk about. Bolts, six bolts, Eddie. Six. Six. Okay. That was funny. <laughs> he, can, he can do metal on a 12 string, Why not? right? So we are Ed and Brett. Hi. Guess which is which. And we are with moreguitars.com, and we are here talking about the Reverend Air Sonic and the Reverend Airwave 12. And that can honestly play just about anything, as Eddie just provided us <laughs> evidence of. Um, but these are two, two cool guitars. They each have F-holes, but this one, the special thing about this one is the F-holes go all the way through. See me? See me right there? So this is the Air Sonic, and this has the, um, I'm kind of jumping around here already, it has the, it's like a P90, but it's a hum cutter is what they call it, P90 tone but it's got it's got it's it's it hum bucks mm -hmm. so it cuts the hum of the uh like a p90 so it's got that sound it's it's it's, it's got a little bit more meat on it than a, than a p90 but it's got that vibe um you know it's got this thick body in the middle here and the thin flames it reminds me of the ty Tabor yeah. guitar you know yeah. but uh but these these uh, f holes all the way through or whatever you want to call those holes they provide a lot of sustain, a lot of uh, resonance. You know, I love this thing. It's cool. That's a cool guitar. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's got the maple roasted neck. Who doesn't like roasted maple? Like roasted chestnuts. <laughs> and it's got, you know, it's got. I mean, the, I want to go through this because a lot of people don't understand all the cool stuff that's going into a Reverend. I mean, it's got the pin lock tuners, mm -hmm. the bonite nut, the three string tree. And that's hard to say. Six bolts in the back, of, or screws, whatever you want to call it, in the back of the neck to hold the, the bolt on neck. It's got the very claw inside of here for the Wilkinson tremolo, which makes, you know, if you're doing, you know, things, you know. Sorry. If you don't want too much of that pizzazz, I got it kind of tight because I don't like to. I don't like to be able to go crazy with it because you can do that if it's on the wrong setting. But if you look at it, you know, on the on the website, on the uh, on the Reverend website, it's got different places and different. You can do all kinds of different combinations where you can put the claw, and that's it's just cool. I mean, yeah. all those little things, the 10% pots, which are within spec of 10% rather than 20%, which is what a lot of guitar manufacturers are doing. The bone, the ba bone, con bone contour, <laughs> the base contour knob. I mean, it's just it's so much cool stuff. Joe and the guys there are doing with these guitars, and and then they come out with each mod. You know, those are all kind of basic things that they're doing in all their. Well, whenever they applies, you know, you're obviously not going to put a claw in a in a screw down trim uh, bridge, but um, it's in all the models. You know, the bonite nut and the you know, a lot of the necks are going to roasted maple mm -hmm. now, but you know, and then they got the specialty, the special stuff about each model, like these F holes and the wings and all that, that make this guitar special. And it's kind of a semi hollow with the sustain and attack of a, of a, of a solid body. Yeah. That's you know? a great guitar. And like you said, I mean, all of the under the hood features that you don't see, <laughs> that's, that's across the board. That's across yeah. even on a set neck model, like this guitar, which actually is a semi hollow. Um, and this is something that, you know, I'm looking forward to Larry getting a close up of this uh, really ingenious tailpiece that they designed for this guitar. Um, this is a really wonderful sounding guitar. I mean, for a, a, a 12 string electric that doesn't, that cuts down on the jangle factor, I think, with a lot of 12 strings. You know, I mean, this yeah. guitar, you know, I think is really warmed up by the semi hollow features and, and the, the pickups. The and the, yeah, 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 yeah. I think, you know, that, that is a good point, you know, and it's, it's, uh, you know, you got all those high strings that mm -hmm. are like less than 14 gauge, you know, or <laughs> yeah. something, whatever they are, you know, but there's so much of that. It can, it can get jangly on a 12 string. Yeah. And check out like, here's like the most say, you know, all right, bridge position, pick up the tone and volume wide open. It's clear, but not yeah. too crazy. Yeah. And in that middle position, you really get that. 
mm. kind of like almost acoustic-y, scoop mid thing. Yeah. I can hear that, you know, like, you can, which one's the bass contour? Yeah. That's what you talk about. You can, you can carve that to where, it, and it's at no setting that you've played is that thing annoying, like that phone that's going off right now. <laughs> <laughs> but at no point have you played a, a tone that's not good. Yeah, you know? I agree. I agree. I mean, it's... Play, and that's my phone now. Who's this knucklehead? You have to call back later. So, anywho, <laughs> so you know, so I, what the thing. Let's go through. So the, 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 they're Karina bodies, by the way. Right. That's kind of a, a little bit of a signature thing with uh, with Reverend. You know, mm -hmm. they do it on most of their guitars. But I think does that one have a walnut and Karina neck? Like it's got five layers or something kind of crazy. I believe it does. Even though that yeah. one's, you know, yeah, painted, painted, you know yeah. painted. I'm looking at the back it's, like that's going to answer the question. <laughs> yeah, right. If you look at that neck, you can see all the stripes in it. But, uh, but I, the, what they're trying to do is cut down on it being so neck heavy, mm -hmm. you know, headstock heavy. Do you feel like it? And it's okay to say yes. You know, it's going to neck dive, but it's not outrageous. Yeah. You know, I mean, with, the, with this guitar, you know, in the standing position with a strap, you wouldn't even no. You wouldn't, wouldn't notice care. it at all. No, yeah. cool. you wouldn't notice it at all. Because that's yeah. the neck dive well is, a, is a big deal on on some of the old, more popular brands back in the '90s and, yeah. and 2000s when they'd come out with a 12 string. I wish this person would just leave me alone. Doesn't he see the video we're shooting? So, that being said, I think these are fun guitars. Let's make up something to go out on here. What do you say? Something happy. So sure, why not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. It's too happy to play over the top of. What? Oh, that's dirty. Enough of that mumbo jumbo. Email us, call, chat. We are, um, it is a Tuesday morning and it feels like Monday. Mm -hmm. But I think, I think we did okay. Yeah. So, anyway, another success. This is Brett and Ed. Again, guess who we are. You, we would love for you to email us, call, chat, ask any more questions that we might not have answered for you on this video. Leave some comments in either a Facebook post on this thing or a YouTube channel. Um, but either way, get in contact with us. We would love to talk to you. We are here for you. We love doing this, and uh, and and we feel like we've we've got some answers. So yeah, you should come talk to us. Moreguitars.com. <laughs>